How massive would a planet need to be to sustain negligible damage from impact with the Earth? I'm curious what factors a terrestrial planet impacting the Earth would require for the impact to cause negligible damage to the larger planet, while destroying the Earth. That really depends on what you consider negligible. Is it sterilization of all life, but planet is still there in one piece in the same orbit? Or is it everyone in the direct impact zone gets squashed and the rest of the planet suffers earthquakes, but after a decades-long volcanic winter we only have a mass extinction event, the second case might be a bit hard to achieve. Even if you use some kind of super tractor beam technology to gently lower Earth onto the surface of the other planet escape velocity or less, the two planet masses will meld together. This melding together means Earth breaks apart, penetrates the comparatively thin crust of the other planet and then merges with the magma of the other planet to create a combined super planet. Super planet calculations I am going to ignore following energies, all the deformation energy that gets released when Earth and the other planet get smushed into one piece, heating up the merging planets the impact energy assume the tractor beam lowers Earth onto the planet's surface with next to zero relative velocity even ignoring those two things, it is not really survival. Some math, volume assume that dollar $V underscore T dollar is the total volume of the original planet volume dollar $V underscore P dollar plus the Earth volume dollar $V underscore E dollar 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 $V underscore T equals $V underscore P plus $V underscore E dollar dollar radius We assume that the combined planet will be a sphere, just like the original two planets were. With that, we can use the formula for calculating the volume of a sphere dollar $V equals frac 4 3 pi r caret 3 dollars dollar dollar begin align frac 4 3 pi r underscore t cubed equals and frac 4 3 pi r underscore p cubed plus frac 4 3 pi r underscore e cubed r underscore t cubed equals and r underscore p cubed plus r underscore e cubed r underscore t equals and r underscore p cubed cubed plus r underscore e cubed caret frac 1 3 end align dollar dollar circumference the circumference of a sphere at the largest point is the circumference of a circle with the radius of the sphere dollar c equals 2 pi r dollar the total circumference will thus be dollar dollar begin align c underscore t equals and two pi r underscore t equals and two pi r underscore p cubed plus r underscore e cubed caret frac one three end align dollar dollar ten times radius unsurvivable. Assume that the other planet has a radius ten times as big as Earth dollar r underscore p equals ten r underscore e dollar. That means it's about the size of Jupiter and its volume is 1000 x bigger than Earth. For the circumference after combining that means, dollar dollar begin align c underscore t equals and 2 pi 10 r underscore e cubed plus r underscore e cubed caret frac 1 3 equals and 2 pi 1001 r underscore e cubed caret frac 1 3 equals and 2 pi r underscore e asterisk 10.00333222 equals and 2 pi r underscore p plus 0.00333222 2 2 r underscore e equals and 2 pi r underscore p plus 2 pi asterisk 0.00333222 r underscore e equals and c underscore p plus 0.021 r underscore e equals and c underscore p plus 0.021 asterisk 6370 kilometers equals and c underscore p plus 133 kilometers end align dollar dollar what does that mean that the combined planet will have a circumference that is 133 kilometers larger than the original planet, meaning that at the very least the tectonic plates will be ripped apart to somehow accommodate 133 kilometers more space, that can't be healthy or survivable. If the life forms haven't been incinerated before simply due to the deformation energy heating everything up, 100 times radius, a habitable planet, dollar dollar, C underscore T equals C underscore P plus 1.334 kilometers, dollar dollar. Adding a whole kilometer to the circumference, that doesn't sound too bad or unsurvivable. On the other hand, your planet has 100x the radius of Earth, meaning a volume of 1 million times that of Earth. Even assuming the other planet is only a comparatively light gas giant like Jupiter still has 10x the radius of Jupiter, meaning it's 1000x bigger than Jupiter, it will still have more gravity than Jupiter's 2.5 grams. 
And considering that Jupiter is just a bit too small to become its own sun, your planet would probably have achieved fusion. If it's not made from fusible materials similar composition to Earth, it will be a lot heavier than 1000 x Jupiter, meaning the gravity on the surface should be in excess of 50 grams. Too lazy to do the gravity calculations but I'd say it's a good guesstimate. I dare you to find a life form that can survive something like that. 